Hi guys, it's me Pooh Bear here and I have my Hello Kitty Chia Pet, my Chia Seeds, and my instructions. So the first thing I need to do is soak my Chia Planter in water for one hour. There's the water. Here's my little Chia Pet. And I'm going to just dunk her in there, I guess. I guess you gotta let the little hole fill up. So she'll stay down. I think I need to put a little more water in there. So she'll fill all the way up to the top. Almost. And her little ears covered. And there she goes. So she is fully submerged in the water. And I like my big timer. So it's like as as close as to an hour am I gonna get. I got this from um Lakeside. I love ordering stuff like stuff for the house, like this little thing over the sink I got from Lakeside. This came from Lakeside. They have all kind of little cute knickknacks. And the next thing I need to do is, they say in a separate container, I'm going to use my salsa bowl. I have to mix two teaspoons of chia seeds and one fourth cup of water. So there is my two teaspoons of chia seeds. And now I need to get my one fourth cup of water. That's too much. Let's pour a little bit out. That's still too much. There we go. That's right on the money. Now, before I do this, I'm have to check my food. I'm currently cooking for next week um, also while I'm doing this. So Monday and Wednesday is already in there from yesterday. I like to alternate. That's the same meal but I alternate. And what I'm cooking now is going to be Tuesday and Thursday. So that's a cooking. I have to stir. This is going to be spaghetti. Yep, so I mixed that round a little bit. Now I'm going to mix this in this reed. It says I have to stir it together and allow it to sit for one hour, stirring the mixture occasionally to moisten the seeds. The seeds will form a gel-like paste, which will help seeds adhere to your chia pit. So in goes the water. Whoa! Ta da! Alright, and now I have to stir it. I need something else to stir it with. Hmm. I need to stir it with something. I need a teeny tiny spoon. Ah! I got a great idea. These are my ice cream spoons. I have lots of them. These are like when I would eat like my little, but they don't make them anymore. They had these things, they were um, healthy choice, little um, yog like frozen yogurt things, and they had strawberry. And like now they have black cherry and chocolate, and they have like some type of caramel and blue, they, I don't even think they have the blueberry anymore. Uh, and they have vanilla. I used to love the strawberry. And they totally do not make that anymore. And I'm just like, what? So, they say you have to mix it around occasionally to keep the little seeds wet. Because I guess they're going to float to the top. 
And another helpful hint is that until your chia pit starts to sprout, you have to, um, it says you have to, um, what was I going to say? It says you have, <laughs> you have to, you could cover it. You could cover the chia pit, the chia pit loosely with a plastic bag. So I'm going to do that too, to help it sprout. And he said in like two weeks it'll be fully grown. So that's pretty interesting. I'm going to close up my little chia pet seeds over there and keep it with the instructions if I want to grow it again. Uh -uh. I'm trying to get all the seeds off. Won't come off. Eh, eh. Get in there, you chia pet seeds. Oh well, that's okay. Those just won't be able to be a part of the experiment. Okay, there. So, the time is a ticking, and I am a cooking. So I have to add like about seven minutes on to the chia pet seeds. Um. So, and Hello Kitty is a soaking. So I'll be back with you guys with part two of growing the chia pet. I will be spreading the seeds onto the chia pit in part two. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye-bye.